Its journey starts with one step, a step that can impact generations. COVID-19 is now part of our journey in Aotearoa. We now need to lean on our faith, culture, and come together as a family and a community to journey towards possibilities. Let's journey for each other. Get your COVID-19 vaccine. Malo Lili. With COVID-19, the way we do things around the world, particularly with the restrictions, has completely changed. For example, we can't bring our family here to be at our birthdays, at our funerals, and also our events that are happening in and around the world. However, through technology, through live stream with Pacifica TV and radio, we can now bring your event to your family and friends overseas. If you'd like to find out how to get in contact with us, drop us a line at pacificaonair at gmail.com, send us a message on Facebook, or why don't you give us a call? Tonga kotoa, uh, malo mua mo mamata mai ki he foki ki api, foki ki api he viatoni, uh, o ku fe ma ma pege fu fu atuku ai, ai faka malo ki he tamai he vani, ma ne fu aki mai ai fenga mari e goni ki mo faka lele ai poka lama goni, uh, ku e viatu goni e mau fe fe alai ki ma o e ai tangata. Akapulu kwa ni, akapulu kwa ngongoa hiya, uh, ki matala noa, kau ki he, foki mai koi ki api. Um, I just wanted to uh, welcome every time. Uh, thank you for always supporting our program. Thank you for watching um, foki ki api. Uh, this evening we have a, an amazing guest, uh, someone that is dear to my heart and uh, someone that we've journeyed for a long time. A very well-known rugby player, played for the All Blacks, kept in the blues won the uh, Super Rugby Championship with the Chiefs and uh, one of the toughest men in rugby. And um, we just want to just talk today about uh, the importance of God, um, his journey back to God, his journey as a rugby player. Um, so uh, now I'm just going to introduce to you, um, his nickname is Mad Dog, but um, maybe we won't use that. But I uh, just want to welcome Augustine Bulu to the program. How are you, Yogi? Good to see you. Thank you, man. Um, to go to Farmalo, get a hot topic, no matter my get it on over. To go Farmalo, get out a key and a key talk in my tatolo. Thanks to you for um, having me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great pleasure, mate, to uh, to sit here and um, face to face and have a, you know, have a chat about going back to you know, the, the Lord's kingdom. Awesome, man. 
It's our pleasure, brother. It's our pleasure. Um, I think this is a chat that I've been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> I know you're a busy man, so um, thank you so much for giving us this uh, privilege. Um, firstly, I just wanted to um, maybe ask if you can kind of just introduce yourself, where you're from in Tonga, where your parents are from, and um, and just, you know, the, the history of, of where you are in, um, in regards to your journey back to the Lord. Um. Wow. So um yeah, like uh, like see like you said, um, you know, I was uh born in, and raised in New Zealand. Uh, my all my my brothers and my uh my sister we're all born in Tonga. Um, I'm I'm the youngest uh, out of the six, and I've um, you know was uh, my my parents migrated from from Tonga obviously um, to to New Zealand to uh, to give us opportunity, uh, you know, to to make something and to get us a I guess a better head start or a start line uh, to what they had um, in the upbringing. Wow! Wow! Um, because it's a me afu ki ogi ko e bokalama ko ni ko ni ko uwe bokalama ko foki ki api bola kakai ugnau no shio mai mitonga ko ko fenga ta afu ki afu ki ule foka tonga it's always easier for me to speak in English but ko fenga be ki ki ule foka tonga nge ki 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 foka matala nge ayanga o kamata o vainga ay ay mau inga ko e ay fonua tonga ki a ko e Mau inga ho family, pe mo mau inga ko eiki ki ho ki ho lue ko ni ko ko e akapu. Yo ko ke ko me tatau pe mo ko e ti ko e funga ta ko e le fatonga mo fai pe finga ko e kamata anga pe funga akapu no te no ta unima ko e ko ha o me ti family masiva. Hala me and I mau up for you. Before you pull up a pulu, bear me, ma, ke fire ke team, for you pull up a pulu, a cool boy for you. For me, I could know, you know, that no, the aloe va inga you gay, gay lecker. Go, Kamata anga who say ea mugu, Fema uke, no way aki go, get out of Tahato, no way aki, a free pull up a pulu gay. Wow. Wow. So uh like like I said, T, um obviously being the one that was only born in New Zealand, uh, I felt like uh, you know, I felt the, the pressure was on myself or I put that pressure on myself to um to try and um make sure that I provide for my family. Right. Sorry, it's my children. No. Can you two go? Yes. <laughs> well, good Sorry, brother. I just do, gotta do the family, eh? <laughs> I'm sure you can cut this off. Oh, says now. Oh, good, Dogo. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I think um, that's one uh, quality that um, I really admire about you um, how much you love your family, how much you put your family first. How much you want to provide for your family, and um, um, I just wanted to ask, you know, in regards to that motivation, what what kept you going when you were playing as a rugby player? What what's what's the main motivation for you as a rugby player? Oh, bro, um, uh, for me it was um, it was black and white. Um, you know, I grew up um, with nothing. I seen nothing. Um, you know, hearing my my parents' journey was was tough enough to to swallow, uh, you know, uh, as a lot of Tongan families go through uh, through tough times. Uh, you know, they they my old man um, decided to roll the dice and and come to New Zealand um, to try and and find a better living for us. Um, you know, we as a little family, uh, you know, just hearing the stories that you know while he was uh, in New Zealand, uh, 
my parents were, or my mom was, and my brothers and sisters, sister was, you know, uh, moving house to house, wow. you know, looking for a place to stay at. Wow. Uh, you know, thank God that, you know, I had, um, you know, good hearted families. Yeah. It was obviously we do, we look after each other and uh, just hearing their stories were, were my motivation. And that's the that's the reason why I put the I guess the uh, the pressure on myself. You know, it's uh, being the only child that was born in New Zealand uh, out of my siblings or my parents. Um, just felt that that was my uh, my calling to um, you know take those opportunities and, and put it to uh, to work. Wow, wow, and um. Maybe I'll ask this question just so that we can get it out of the way. Um, a lot of people would love to to know why they call you Mad Dog, and, and I've had many, many, many stories <laughs> of, um, of rugby players being very scared of yourself as you were a young man. But um, how, did, how did you get your name? How did Mad Dog come along, man? Oh, uh, no, I was, I was back at school. Uh, oh. when I went to school at Wesley College. Uh, shout out to Wesley College. Um, yeah. You know, I, I did. I did my time there. Uh, I did three years there, and um, I had a Holden Commodore, and uh, the the lights were red. So, for for some reason, um, I think it, it kind of I aligned myself with you know my my peers seeing me align with, with the car, and um, <laughs> they gave they gave me the 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 nickname Mad Dog. So I've lived that um, majority of my life. Um, it's gave me something to, I guess, um, channel myself off. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so just, this is the way I, I guess I hold myself um, accountable when I'm on the field. Um, just try to be as uh, aggressive as I could. And yeah, it's just a, so a couple of years down the line, that's the, the name now. That's um, the stuck. <laughs> that's incredible, man. I, um, and how was it like to um to captain the blues, man? I think um, oh, um massive uh, kind of uh, cap for you. Bro, it's uh, it's massive, bro. It's, you know, I just thank God. Um, you know, you, you you know this. You've been on my journey. I've been uh, I did six years um, down at the Chiefs. Um, you know, I was blessed enough to win a couple of championships and be under real good uh, coaches and uh, players. And I guess my last two years was was a was a year of um, you know a lot of praying and yeah. um, trying to figure out what his will was yeah. with us to stay at the Chiefs. Um, back then it was obviously um, there wasn't um, you know much there wasn't really much halfbacks up at, at the Blues at the time. Uh, I think Pity just just finished pretty with me and. You know, I had two current All Blacks um, at the the Chiefs, but um, in in God's calling, um, He told me to stay another year at the Chiefs, and it was the following uh, 2016 that I moved up to the Blues. Yeah. Um, as I got to there, and you know, I did my time uh, for a couple of years, and then uh, you know, God's calling was uh, for me to to lead a mysterious um, club. Is the blues so um, yeah man there's you know there's no words that i can i can give but i was i was blessed enough to you know to get the opportunity to do something that i never thought that i would ever do yeah wow and you led some amazing men too you know they uh, oh, yeah. all black. It's crazy it's crazy and obviously yeah. you mentioned that in regards to how important prayer is and how important um god is um to yeah. you um can you just kind of give us a bit of a um, an outline of your journey back to God. How you, um, I think you you always held God very dear to your heart, but um, making God the um, the centerpiece, the main thing of your of your life. Uh, can you just give us a little bit of a, a picture of that journey? Yeah, obviously, you know, with our with our, with our families, uh, we we grew up in church, um, and that was always the backbone. Like we always knew where. Um, where to go to and you know I won't lie you know I was a sinner as well um, a sinner back then and I'm still a sinner now but I'm like you know I'm more um, aware of who my um, you know my my uh, my saviour is 
um, the journey back to 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 God, uh, um, you know, it was it was during those times where I just, you know, I lost my first child. Um, 2011, I uh, lost, you know, um, lost lost my first child, and I guess just I had to really look 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 upon myself um, where I want to go because you know uh, growing up in South Auckland, so it's just so easy just to 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 follow um, amongst the the crowd, but uh, mm-hmm. you know along along that journey, I got to meet you, and um, you know I had a you know beautiful wife that, that's, that supported me through the thing and she's a real big believer in church and praying so um, that really helped me um, on my journey back to you know to God yeah. Yeah. so it's, it's 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 been amazing it's um, there's no there's no there's no words that I can put together to just the, the, you know being so peaceful and um, just being mindfulness on on everything that's you know that's um, in this world, yeah, I think I, I like that how you uh, mentioned that that we are still all sinners. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how good we try to be. Um, you yeah. know, we we always fall short of God's glory, and um, and that's one thing I think I, I share on this program a lot about. It's not really about the perfection, eh? But connecting to God, and um, how do you how do you connect with God? What's what's your process of connecting to God? Just to encourage. You know, other players, other people are watching this. What's your method of connecting with God? Oh, for me, it's just, I guess, it's, it's trying to find His will. Um, you know, it's best enough to to grow up. Um, I, I don't know how I come across this. It's, um, I think, like, always asking, what does He want out of me? What is my calling? Um, even to this day that, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Japan now and um, I'm still... I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still asking and praying. Um, what is what is my job over here? Um, obviously, it's to play footy, but I, I always I, I know there's more to it, um, and and you know in in as well. So uh, that's that's how I find the most uh, closest when I well, connect with God is is praying and um, you know seek for his, looking and seeking His will. His, his will. Um, yeah, so that's that for me. That that is the most one of the most powerful thing for myself is is trying to look for what his will is. Yeah, wow, that man, that's such a powerful <laughs> answer. I mean, that's one of the best answers I've ever I've ever had in regards to connecting with God. Because I think that's the key in connecting with God is finding His will. Because when we find His will, we find His purpose, find His, yeah. purpose, and we can find the destiny. And um, that's a beautiful man. And um, I think, you know, as yourself, you're such a leader, man. I mean, you know, so many of the players I know, you know, so many of the kids that, you know, I was involved with just recently with them, with the Ikaletahi, they all look up to you, you know, they, they, they see you because you wear your heart on your sleeve, you lead from the front, you lead, you're not just a, a guy that um, speaks, but um, you're a man that puts it into action. And um, for, for for, I just wanted to ask um, for yourself, um, how important is it for you to, uh, to leave from the front? How important is it to you to leave a legacy behind for, uh, for young Tongans, especially rugby players? Man, just uh, thank you for those kind words, bro. Um, you know, that just, you know, asking that question, uh, that gives me you know, goosebumps. Um, it's, it's everything for me. It's, you know, for myself as... Um, walking the talk is is massive. Um, leading from the front is, is something that I, I like to fight for. Um, I like to put myself in a lot of pressure uh, because for some reason I just know that God will pull through, um, will lead me. And my prayer is always He He's always the captain. Um, he's always the driver of the of the boat, no matter if it's in sports or um, in life. But um, for myself, it's it's been vulnerable. That's one of the the things that I've I've learned. Uh, through my my journey, <clears throat> it being runnable is um, it it just makes you grow as a, as a person. Um, but to answer your your question, T, it's man, it's so important for myself um, to leave a mark and just to let 
you know, the young, the young children understand, like, know that they can, uh, no matter what, you know, the, what they're going through and uh, uh, in life, uh, having nothing doesn't mean that you can't make it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I can, I can uh, testament, testament to that, testament to that, um, you know, this, it's just going out there and being vulnerable and just uh, and give it your best shot. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think that's a, such an important um, characteristic, uh, oh yeah, uh, being vulnerable. Yeah, being, yeah. being um, you know, being. Uh, I think that's that's what you are. I think it's. Um, I mean, not many people know that you know you you do so much for the community. You do so much for the young Tongans. You know, you run little fight cover clubs where you know you you go there and you share the words share testimonies um and you know you even help out many many of the young tongans in south auckland and um i just wanted to um just to ask you um how important is tonga to you how important is our nation to you our flag our people how how where does that rank in your in your life uh that's that's um probably ranked second or third um, you know, God will always be first in my family, and you know it's wow. it's right there with, with, with my family. So obviously that's that's um, that's my family. Mm-hmm. They're all from Tonga, and um, the importance to me for Tonga is so important. Mm-hmm. Giving back uh, to our nation or our kids growing up and helping them um, succeed in whatever whatever it is, if it's in sports or Academics, mm. um, it's the world. You know, it's the world to me. So, I'm I'm at that point in my life where uh, it's looking for for different things where I can help out. Yeah. Um, and God willing, you know that uh, you know things will fall into place. That you know, a lot of us, uh, Rocky boys, will go that played for the All Blacks or the Australian teams or um, England um, could go back and you know represent uh, our homeland. Wow, man! I look forward for that day. I mean, that's I mean, that's one of my biggest prayers that one day you'll put on the red jersey. And um, um, I just wanted to um, just to ask uh, Ogi, just in regards. I know that you do a lot to uh, set yourself up uh, for after footy, and that's something that's in, always in the front of your mind. Setting up your kids, setting up your family. Uh, what kind of advice can you give to young Tongans? especially those who are kind of climbing up now in the ladder of rugby or even in business? Uh, I think for myself, I think for myself, there's, you know, um, saving is, is so important. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, a lot of us look for excuses that we don't make enough to save, but saving $1 or $2 a week, it all adds up into good habits. And little things turns into, you know, big things. Yeah. Uh, my advice would be um, save your money yeah. um, as much as you can. Um, keep praying. <laughs> you know, that's the number one important thing to do in, in your journey is is to pray and um, and just save the money. You know, for myself, I was I was lucky enough um, to see that I I grew up and I uh, I saw the last. Um, but of the, I guess the old generation, you know the um, rugby boys. You know they a lot of our Polynesian boys. They we lost, you know, a lot of they lost a lot of money. And um, for me, I, I I learned from that, and I don't want to be in that situation because I, you know, um, I told myself from from day one that you know, uh, footy footy life is, is it's just fake life to be honest. Like. You need, you need to pay footy for um, at least 10 years if you, if, if, if you um, no injuries. You know, these are a few of us that goes on to, to 15, you need to 20 years. Shout out to Nelly Latu. Oh, come on. running around. Um, but it's, uh, the importance of money is not letting you get to your head as well. Um, and just staying humble. Yeah. And, you know, investments, like you, like you said, see, is getting yourself around good you know, support groups yeah. uh, and just taking your time with things because there is a lot of uh, people out there that do 
all they want is your money and you know it's, it's you know you got the most powerful tool is, is the lord so yeah. just keep praying and he'll tell you what to do with it amen amen i love that i love that because i think even in that we i um you do save a lot but you oh my gosh you give a lot as well um <laughs> and you give so much of your money um you know smartly obviously but um I think that's one of the characters that you hold, and I. That's one thing I, I pray and I um, encourage young Tongans about blessing. You know, you are blessed to be a blessing. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And, um, and you know, you don't just give that in money, but your time, uh, your love, your support. You know, I think, um, and that's one thing. You know, for the years that I've known you, that's I think your biggest character. You're a man that gives and gives generously, not just of your money, but you know, of your time and your support. And um, I just wanted to ask you, you know, I think I've never asked you this, you know, um, who inspired you? I know you're a big, you're, you're great friends with, with Sonny, with Liam, and, and I think they're, they're, they're guys that give a lot as well. Um, but who really inspired you to, to be like that? Was it watching your, your father or your mom or your family? What kind of, uh, what would you I, I for my yeah, it's, it's it's funny enough, bro, because I, I grew up I grew up with a with, with a with a heart of um, of giving. Um, my 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 old man is he's a, he's a real loving person, and he's always um, when we used to be young. We we was you know we he would always um, focus on others, wow. um, you know, sending stuff back or trying to help other people. And then you know in our kitchen, and we won't have much to eat. But uh, I think that's where I got my, you know, my my mom was the same as well. Um, that's where I got my, I guess, my drive from is uh, I grew up um, in a household that whatever I had, that's enough to to give up to give up to to people. And um, for myself, T, it's I I just had a heart of giving and loving. Um, you know, I I love I love seeing other people smile. Or, you know, helping out others, um, and that's always been my, you know, my dream is was to grow up and and try and help others because um, I just knew that if I help others, you know, God will always look after myself and my little family, and that's, you know, if I had to give any advice to my to my kids, you know, it's probably that would be my number one advice uh, is is to help as many people, you know, like you said, blessings is meant to give, you know. So you get blessed, you need to bless someone else with it. Uh, wow. Yeah. Don't make me cry, man. Nah, man, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just one of those things, man. I just, you know, I just, yeah, just love helping. And, um, you know, I I don't, you know, there's, because there's always two ways into it, eh? you know, there's always people that, I won't say people, but there's always that, you know, that one doorway that, you know, people help to try and get, receive anything back. Yeah. And you have, the, you know, the other way where it's, Yep. You give it, and then you know, you, you just do it with a good heart. Mm. And um, yeah, I've, yeah, I thank God that I've, I've you know, I've got that doorway that yeah. I can give and just walk, you know, just, you know, just count my blessings. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Amen. I think um, that's one of your biggest characters, man. Um, but uh, as we come to the to the end here, we um, I always ask the guys to um, if there's one thing that you can encourage our people with, what would it be? Um, I, you know, I, I love you to kind of finish off the program tonight by just saying maybe something in Tongan, something in English, just yeah. to uh, encourage our young people, uh, encourage our nation, especially those who are in lockdown in Tonga. Um, but um, I love you just to say a word of encouragement because uh, you ooze encouragement, man. You're such an encouraging guy, you know, and uh, you've encouraged me you know, through my journey. And um, I just um, asked, man, if you can say a couple of words or sentences just to encourage our people. I think it's a bit of a love to be a little 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 bit of a love to be a love to be E lava ike ke au ke tuunga e tau foki ke tau 
otua e tai mini e o oho la he te bolo e no finga ke faka veveu eta u eta u lotu ma eta u lofo fa fa miri mo e mi ape ki ki tonga u tala ofa ki tonga o e o sho pe e facebook a mo ha fu a e ai mi ako na ku tokolahi na senya tu ki ki tonga ka kai ki tonga ku kora tu pe ke mo tu wa tu fa fu nu wa ki ke ta ofi me ko na ni u fa ofa to ki fu nu wa se ke ka kai e ke to tonu ke ta o ke ta wa na ke ofa at ka mo to just to just to um to our people uh, i just wanna no acknowledges um, back in Tonga uh, for the hard times you know I, I know a lot of people out there are stuck um, with, uh, with COVID and, and why not um, you know prayer is, is the most important thing for us is to pray and keep you know keep united um, as as a country is uh, obviously there's a lot of things that's happening in our country um, with, with the drugs and um, I just ask all our people uh, may you guys stand up and um, you know stop um take a stand and 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 cut what's going on um in Tonga because our, our country then deserve to be um to be used uh this way and uh, we deserve better so god amen. bless you all and uh much love amen thank you brother thank you so much i think um i mean god just reminded me um it would be great if we can finish off with a prayer. Um, yeah. If you can um, start it off, and I'll, I'll finish it off, and then um, we'll say goodbye. But I want to really thank you, um, Mogi, for tonight. Uh, thank you for your um, time and insights. I, um, I can't wait to uh, put this up on the program tomorrow. And um, I know that a lot of guys will be so encouraged by what you said tonight. Um, but I just wanted to thank you, um, Thank you to um, to Maggie as well uh, for giving you the opportunity to come on and your children. And um, but uh, thank you always, bro, um, for your support and everything that you do, man. It means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to our people. But uh, uh, finish off, thank you, man. Thank you so much um, for this opportunity, bro. You know, it's always a pleasure to to share the the, the word of God, and um, you know, obviously, like we like I always say, you know, we always fall, but. It's um, it's not how long, you, it's not how much you fall, it's, it's how much you stand back up. So, God uh, bless you, bro. Amen. We'll start, eh? Um, you can just start us off the whole and now we'll finish off. Let's pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just come uh, this really for uh, this time to give thanks and glory back to you, Lord. Lord, we pray um, for your forgiveness uh, amongst uh, our actions or our wording, Lord Father. We pray that you. Uh, you blessed uh, every heart that's watching the Lord Father, and you bless uh, every person uh, at the household. Will we pray for uh, our families out there, our, our families that's going through hard times? Maybe, may you shine your light upon them, Lord, your drop of blood to to give them strength uh, to get through this time. Lord, I pray, uh, the verse uh, Psalms 144, uh, chapter one, Lord, um, the Lord is my rock, who is the Lord is my rock, he has blessed my hands for battle and my fingers for war. I bless, uh, ask you, may you bless that upon uh, all our uh, Tongans uh, around the world, that they, uh, the gift that's been given to them, Lord, that they go out there and look for uh, their world. Lord, we uh, pray that upon every Tongan out there in Jesus', Jesus name, pray, amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you, Lord God, for Augustine. We thank you for his life. Father, Lord God, as he has prayed, we pray for our Tongan people. We pray, Lord God, that you continue to encourage them, strengthen them, uplift them, Lord God. Even during this COVID uh, season, this COVID epidemic, Lord God, I pray that you bless them, Lord God. As, as Aaron prayed that prayer of blessing in Numbers chapter 6, Lord God, may your face shine upon them Lord God may your peace be upon them father your protection and your guidance be upon them may you continue to favor them in everything that they do 
Father, Lord God, we pray for our nation, for our leaders. We pray, Lord God, that the Jew, Lord God, will always be, Lord God, the head. You will always be the leader. You will always be the captain of the ship. That you will always be the one that will lead us into the promised land, lead us into victory, Lord God. Bless our land, Lord Jesus. Bless our people, Lord God. Father, we pray and we thank you for all his life. We thank you, Lord God, for his family, his children, his mom and dad, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to use him mightily. Continue to give him that, pl that platform, Lord God, to be, continue to be that encourager, Lord Jesus, that person to shine that light, Lord God, in the darkness, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord God, we pray for everyone that is watching, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to, to bless them. Continue to guide them. Put a hedge of protection. Paint your blood, Lord God, over their house, over their family, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to to lead them, Lord Jesus, in everything that they do, Lord God. And Father, as David said in Psalm 23, verse 6, surely goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their life, and that they will dwell in the house of God for eternity. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Togo. Thank God you so bless. much. Bless you, my brother. Yeah, bless you, bro. And I'll, um, I'll just finish this off. I just want to thank you all for watching tonight. Thank um, Augustine Pulu uh, for being part of tonight's program. Um, I just wanted to uh, continue to encourage you. It's time to fokiki api. It's time to come home. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. So God bless to you all. Tea.
Former Tuvaluan Prime Minister Enele Sopuanga once said, If we save Tuvalu, we save the world. Pasifika TV and radio are on the lookout for innovative and creative minds to help save and shape the future of our Pacific through programming, technical experience, and exciting community developments through our multimedia platforms. With a dynamic team of over 30 volunteers across Australia and the Pacific, we contribute in our spare time to a vision that includes bringing a Pacific perspective, shining a light on our culture, our spirituality, our language, our people and our stories. If you have a skill you'd like to share, a passion to build, want to add some work experience to your resume from home or in Brisbane, then we'd love to hear from you. Fluency in a Pacific language is an advantage, but not a necessity. Share your idea and let us know who you are by Facebook Messenger or email pasifikaonair at gmail.com. If we save the Pacific, we can influence the entire world. If we save the Pacific, we we can influence the entire world, but, but it, it starts, starts with, with us. Okiai <laughs> Eta o kohirina, nengari to noa eta amanaki, ko uhi ko mahaki COVID tahiva. Ta e pau e fononga anga, pia fotu una mo palo palema. Ka e fa fe ta e o ke yongona tala noa lele a folo fola. E hike mo unga e tatui, ko ilo onde o me mama. Kila toto a. Kumau <laughs> 
Eleva kia mai kolo he fika telefoni noa faha taha nima valu valu faha taha hiva taha. Simran Auto Care and Smash Repairs mō ni te ke tokonaki valu pong pongi ke nima tolu noa e fiafi. Koe mautu a sila koe fika tolu a tolu valu nima noa Mount Lizzy Highway i Park Ridge. Pe tā mai kia mai kolo i he noa faha taha nima valu valu faha taha hiva taha. Pakuanga fe fe ngā ue a huhu malu i COVID-19. Pakuanga e faito o huhu malu i COVID-19 o a ko i hufa unga malu i mo ui, the immune system, ke nga uilo a e mailasi e a whawhipaka. He ikai o atu he faito o ia a e maha ki ki a te koe. O ikai ke mao e mailasi ia i e faito o, te koha whaahinga mea e whakatupu palo parema ki o DNA. E maa au pito e whaito o ia me ho sino, hili bea hanga hi aho si. Kae toe maalo, mo ma teu teu wangi ho whaunga malu i mo ui, ke whawhe paki i a COVID-19 me hane o ho fiko. Koe whoi tu oni huhu malu i, te tosi e ua e whi e maa o ke whakahoko ki a koe. Koe huhu hoa ni, e toki whakahoko ia hili ha wiki e tolu pe o fiki ai, me he aho huhu malu i ulu aki. Whakapapau i o whakahoko lo ua ho o ngu huhu malu i, ke mahino o ku maa o ho sino, ai malu i lele i taha. Pea ka pau i kai te ke lawa ki hio appointment ni. Toe wa kai hea aho ke heange i hea wawe taha ke whakahoko ai o hu malu i. Ma kai ki hea website covid19.govt.nz slash vaccine ki hea toe whakamatala o gu lahi ange. Thinking about learning Tongan or you'd like your children to be taught the Tongan language? Look no further than the Queensland Tongan Language School. The Queensland Tongan Language School offers a diverse Tongan language course covering reading, writing, listening and most importantly speaking. Our team of dedicated teachers deliver six lessons during school term including face-to-face -face classes in Logan on Brisbane's south side for our joeys or preschoolers, koalas, our primary school students and our wombats or high school students. But that's not all. To ensure flexibility, we deliver online as well with our Brumbies or Adult Beginners class and our Emus or Second Year Adult class and our Crocodiles or Master class for those who want to learn advanced Tongan. Enrolments are welcome for our online classes from across Australia and around the world. All students are welcome to attend our Kalapu Talanoa or weekly informal conversational club to practice speaking Tongan with our community elders. Don't forget our pen pal program with Friends of Tonga, just another a great way to learn. Enroll today at brisbanetongancommunity.com forward slash QTLS or drop us an email to brisbanetongancommunity at gmail.com. The Queensland Tongan Language School. Koe hakao e ahoni, koe whonua o apongpongi. Today's reef is tomorrow's land. Enroll today and start your journey learning the Tongan language. How many nurses are there in Australia? What's the average income of someone living in inner Sydney? How many people in Samoa live in Queensland? What are the top 10 occupations of Tongans in Australia? What services we get, how they are funded and where they're delivered depends heavily on statistics. The Australian Bureau of Statistics are conducting the 2021 census on the 10th of August this year. It's important our Pacifica community has a voice and fills out the census forms accurately to ensure we are represented when government allocates funding, services, language support and other assistance in the future. Whether you're a citizen or not, whether you're here temporarily or permanently, the 10th of August 2021 is a snapshot of Australia for the census that will shape and impact future generations. For more information, check out www.abs.gov.au. Census 2021. It's time for the Pacific to be counted. Census 2021. It's time for the Pacific to be counted. Kole ke fara malu malu atu he, ka adamu o mokita ke fara hoko atu ai fatongia. Si oku ka unga afononga i hitui, ka tau te fito ki si kainga katolika maufanga vahenga kuin silani, koe fara nau tama a e tau fa e ko maria tupu i maakulata. Oku atu ai whakaafeni i he loto hounga ia, moe ofa i he manatu ki api moe tupu anga. Koe tangi e me i he tau fare lotu ko maria tupu i maakulata, Koe whare lotu whaka e piko pou o e taio sisi o e otu tonga. 
Makatunga ihe mau mau lahi na faka hoko ki fale lotuni talu me he matangi ko kita pe pe he munga he tuoni matangi ke ke ne hoko hoko mai ki hotau ki fonua o uhi ngai ai kole me faka tangi atu ki ate ki moutolu ihe vahenga kuinsila ni e faka hoko ha konseti ai ka inga lotu vahenga o kuinsila ni ihe fiafi togonaki a ho wavalu a kosi he taimi fitu pm Holo ai palaokia Saint Paul, Woodridge, Tuasila, Figatolu, Saint Paul's Tribe, Woodridge, e me ai ai paatere tauhi a Aceleria, Fada Ida Kolomatangi, pe moikonga e timi ngā ue whare lotu. Ko si o tatu unga pe, ko e whakahoko e whatongi a, ka ahu iate ki tau tolu pe, o kui kai te whai halau whika, ka koe ofa ata ata a pe. O mahino pe ki ati ki mau tolu, ai tu unga ku tau to whanga ko to ai i maha mani lahi, ai ka o vita ha hiva. Mo tok fetu taki mai pe ka pau o mo fie mau ha whakaikiki, fe kau aki mo e whakaafeni. Ko i ai ai ka o miti ngā aue, ko fili, ke nau whakahoko peho tau whatongi a. Palestini, saia severe, tokoni i Christopha ave matahau, o fisa fetu taki i telesia nau poto, tokoni mi kaare kama, Tau i paanga o li ufau severe mo on tina sabe. Fetu taki mai ki he mo baro, noa whaani maono, walu whaanima, taha fitu tolu. Pego loki ni ki he Facebooka ko e whale lot whara e piko po Maria Tupu i Makulata. Maalo me he koumiti ngā ue. G'day to all my Pacific Island and Māori people out there, or in our language... This is an urgent call out. We need your donations. We don't need your money. We don't need your food. And we definitely don't need your old school rugby stories. When I was a kid, I was the best rugby player. When I come to Australia, they ring me. They want me to play for the Wallabies. Dad, you were 47 when we arrived. <laughs> We need Pacific Island and Māori blood now more than we ever have before. We have this rare blood type and it's found in one in every 100 people. That's like two Pacific Island and Māori families. Okay, stop the music. This is serious. We currently have three patients here in Australia that are in regular need of this blood. It's being imported from New Zealand because our stocks in Australia are so low. The data shows that we have well over 335,000 Pacific Island and Māori people here in Australia. Not many of us are donating. We need our people to help our people. So all we are asking is for you to reach out through your rugby clubs, your outrigger groups, your netball clubs, choirs, your churches, in the line at KFC, your kapahaka groups, your gossip groups, and you know who they are. Hey, did you see what Sally was wearing to church the other day? I can't believe my eyes. Oh, my horse. This will be Australia's biggest Pacific Island and Māori blood drive. And to help track all this data, we've set up a donation team called Pacific Donors. Yeah, I know, it didn't take me long to think about that one. All you need to do is go to donateblood.com.au, click on Book Now, and register if you haven't already. And when you get to your homepage, just go to My Team and make sure you select... Pacific Donors. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. Just book an appointment closest to you, and then drop into a centre, say hello, fill in some forms, and then the nurse will ask you some questions. Age? Uh, 25. Real age? 44. And your weight? 80 kilos. Real weight? 135 kilos. Then you take a seat, they hook you up, and before you know it, you're done. You've donated. And now the best part, the recovery station. For one of these, one of these, or even one of these. For a little bit of this, or a lot. I'm just donating blood. Our Pacific Island and Māori people here in Australia need us to boost those stocks so that they don't have to wait. These are our people. We need your help. Keep your culture, brothers and sisters.